Good morning again, my friends. Emperor Jackson, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church, Tupelo. I hope that you are doing well today and may God continue to bless each and every one of you. Let's begin with a brief prayer. God, we ask for your presence among us today. Open us up so that we might be able to receive your word and to become not only hearers of the word, but also doers. This we ask in thy name. Amen. The unknown God, the unknown God. In Acts, the 17th chapter, beginning at verse 22, Paul is speaking to the Athenians. And he says, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship. I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. For the one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live so that they would search for God and perhaps grapple for him and find him. This passage of scripture is a reminder that so often we make idols like the ancient Athenians of so many things. The ancient Athenians were trying to be so religious and so correct. They had statues all over the city of the various gods that they served. But just in case they had forgotten one, they put up a statue an idol, if you will, to an unknown God. And when Paul came along and he saw this, he used his own Greek training, his philosophy. He talked to the Stoics and the others who were great learners, and he used their own language to try to convince them that the unknown God and the other gods they were serving were not truly gods at all, that there was only one God and his son was Jesus Christ who came into the world and suffered and died for us all. Today, we make idols of so many things, sports, money, success, political affiliation. And nothing is wrong, hear me please, nothing is wrong with any of these. But there is only one God, one in three. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our charge today is to remember that we should not serve idols, but we should serve the known God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let us today do all that we can to serve God in spirit and in truth. May God bless you all. 